Welcome to another episode of Trap Talk. Matt Johnson, I'm here with Tom Zanenko. Tom, thanks for coming out here. Actually, we're at Vexlar here in Bloomington, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about a topic that's near and dear to Tom's heart, myself included, and I'm sure most of you want to know about this because I'm getting questions on behalf of electronics. So let's talk about electronics refined. We have several systems on the market today that ice anglers can use to be better ice fishermen. You have your camera, you have your flasher. We all know what these two units can do. Cameras are great educational tools. Flashers show you the fish's mood. This is going to be your lifeline between you and the fish. You have a multiple different variables between the two, different options, all those sorts of things. The meat and potatoes, what we want to get at today is to talk about how these tools can be used together to catch fish. And then we jump over to the Cadillac of ice fishing tools, that new double vision system from Vexlar. Tom, let's talk about this new system. Well, it really is a blend, Matt, um, of, of the newest cutting edge technology in sonar, which is, you know, the Vexlar, in this case, the 20, and our new Fish Scout series. The Fish Scout camera series is a quantum leap in technology because in previous, if you've ever owned a camera before, or you've ever been with anyone who's owned a camera before, you, you know what I'm talking about, power consumption, there are basically TV sets with a 12 volt power supply, it would last about two or three hours and it would be dead. The new flat screen, very efficient for energy, internal heaters to work in all temperature settings, have transformed how you can use both the camera and the sonar together because now everything, for example, the double vision system can run for almost 12 hours with both systems running simultaneously. A quantum leap in technology has never before been made that possible because always extra batteries or you know you have to hook it up to a car battery if you wanted to use it for long periods of time. Now with the new Fish Scout system and the, the, the Vexlar system side by side, you have the best of both worlds. And I guess that's the point that I, I guess I want to stress in, in today's Trap Talk thing is, is how do you blend the two technologies to maximize your fishing success? Well, first off, I think the logic behind why Vexlar did this was simply related to efficiency. When you go out on the ice, you got enough stuff to carry with you. You have your augers, your fish house, your rods, the bait, the minnows, whatever else you've, all the stuff that you got with you. Well, in the past, you've always had to have one bucket with a camera, one bucket with a Vexilar. You had, it's just a, it was a mess carrying all this stuff with you. By condensing it down into one easy to carry package, everything can be put into the double vision. So it makes it more convenient. And I think that's probably the, the, the tipping point as to why everyone is going crazy for the double vision systems. Because for the first time, why not have it with? Well, i got to make a choice. Do I bring my camera out there three miles, or do I run my Vexilar out, or you forget to leave it in the truck, and you go, oh, goodness great. Everything's always with you. So if you're having a, a scenario, and, and this happens all the time, I find myself doing it more than more. Now, I've been using my Vexilars for, well, you know, since the mid-'80s, and, and I, I've even got pictures of me on the ice using sonar for ice fishing on Medicine Lake, by the way, uh, when I was 10 and 12 years old. So I was using sonar to look for fish when I was 10 and 12 years old. Fast forward 45 years, and I'm still using sonar technology, but when I don't understand what's going on down there, I'll actually drop the camera down, and is that what's going on? One of the things that, that a lot of people, we get a lot of calls from Vexilar fans, and they're going, well, I see these flashes on the screen, or this is going on, or that's going on. I think there's something wrong with my Vexilar. And what a lot of people don't fully understand is that a Vexilar has less than one-tenth of one percent product failure. The Vexilar is probably one of the most reliable, bulletproof systems on the market today. What it tells you is the truth. It's not lying to you. But because it's a sonar sound, being translated into display signals on your Vexilar, you're going, well, what does that sound mean? Is it weeds? Is it fish? Is it bubbles coming up from the bottom? Is it micro crustaceans floating in the water column? Is it a thermal layer in the water column? What's causing those weird signals on my Vexilar? My Vexilar isn't broken. It's telling you something that you haven't seen before. And that's when, if you have the camera right there, it's, I'll drop the camera down. And you drop the camera down, that's what it is. 
If you get the bottom flickering and, and moving around, well, there might be curly pond weed down there. And curly weeds, green curly pond weed in the bottom of my lake? I never even knew that was there, but the bottom looks like there's fish right near the bottom. Well, curly pond weed can move around a lot and it kind of gives the illusion of fish right near the bottom. You drop it down, a good example. I was out fishing a lake near my house in Shakopee. I lived on Shakopee. And I'm seeing these fish targets come by, and I'm going, I can't get these damn fish to bite. And I'm trying every single trick in your book, because you've taught me a lot about how to use different techniques. And I'm trying different sizes, different types of baits. I'm trying different techniques. And I'm going, these fish just won't bite. I drop it down, bullheads. <laughs> So here, all the while, I thought that I was attracting fish to me, trying to catch them. And I was getting frustrated because I saw these targets, and I thought there were big crappies or bass or something. Bullheads. And they're just swimming by. Keep right on going. <laughs> and so once I understood that, then when I saw those signals on the screen, I didn't get all excited, or more or less, I didn't get upset with me and saying, what am I doing wrong? No, these were the wrong fish. So I picked up and started moving until I saw a different looking target, bluegills. And I caught them. So the camera helps you refine, understand what your Vexilar is telling you. But by having the convenience of both of them side by side, it's like a win-win combination. It really is great. Like Tom said, uh, I was toying with the topic, even up to this morning with Tom talking about what do I call this segment, and I came up with electronics refined because that's essentially what these systems have evolved into. But I was toying with the topic of electronics efficiency, and Tom nailed it right in the head with two systems in one, how efficient it is. And for me, like Tom said, and I mentioned earlier, a learning tool, the camera, exceptional learning tool. I get the question asked quite often working at Thorn Brothers is, why do I need a camera? What do I do by gaining? What do I gain by having a camera? I said, well, I'll tell you this. It teaches you so much about the underwater world, just like Tom said. Here's a savvy veteran, 40 plus years on the ice, trying to understand still what it is. I've told myself this, and Pat Smith, a legend in ice fishing, has always told me this. He says, Matt, the second I quit learning is the second I have the biggest ice fishing garage sale of my life. I mean, that's essentially what we're doing, <laughs> is we're having fun. We're out there getting a better understanding of what's going on. So these tools, especially a system like the Double Vision side-by-side, -side, or really any camera for that matter, shows you what this is telling you. As Tom said, and Tom and I had a talk this morning about using these two systems in conjunction, is for years we sit these side-by-side -side to get a better understanding. The goal essentially is to eventually tell yourself, you know what, I can look at this and I know what it's telling me because I have used this. So I tell all my customers, my clients, my dear friends, my family that these sorts of systems, cameras, do you need them? I would never tell you no because they show you so much of what's down there. It educates you. I mean, if there's an audience in front of me, I'd ask you to raise your hand right now. If you want to catch more fish, okay, I'm assuming most of you are going to raise their hand. Tools like this allow you to see and better understand what's going on, which eventually is just part of that equation, which means success. So these sorts of systems in conjunction in one, electronics refined, electronics efficiency, but for the sake of Time, we'll call electronics refined because that's essentially what these things do. So, you know, we can talk about flashes, we can talk about cameras, but essentially the package is what makes the modern ice angler. Absolutely. And we, we, you know, we've talked about this before in, in previous years, before Vexilar came out with its own camera. You know, it was always a debate. Do you get a camera first or a Vexilar first? And it was always a debate, but the answer was always the same. A Vexilar will double your ice fishing efficiency, without a doubt. If you're an ice fisherman or want to be an ice fisherman, you want to be more effective than just going in the middle of a barren lake and drilling a hole and staring down at a hole, or you want to actually start catching a fish, a Vexilar is undisputed will double your ice fishing success. The camera comes into play where it refines what electronics are telling you. So I find myself, because I use, I've been using the double vision now for two seasons. I find myself using the camera less and less as my educational curve improves. Now, when I go to new lakes, I find myself using the camera a lot more because the new lake presents a whole new array of challenges. Different weed bottom, different fish that I'm fishing, the bottom content, the attitude of the size of the fish. I need to understand that more. But as I become more experienced on a particular lake, I'll use the camera less and the sonar more. But then you also have that wild card factor where while you're fishing, the kids can be watching the TV. 
and and participation with the family and getting the kids involved. Hey, kids, you watch the TV. Dad's going to be catching fish because in many cases you don't put the the camera in the same hole that you're actually fishing in. Your vexillar and transducer are, are directly in front of you here. And then the camera is set, you know, maybe three to five feet away, depending upon water clarity, and it looks back at your bait. So the kids can be there watching the fish, and you can be there actually catching them with your vexillar. So it it really is the the blending of the technologies to refine. You know, again, I know a lot of your viewers are more of the expert anglers, Matt, and I understand that. A lot of them are maybe just getting into the sport and what it can do for my family. The camera is great entertainment for the kids. The sonar is the tool to double your fishing success. And I know a lot of the fringe areas, people think, well, if I see the fish, I'll catch more of them. But in the real world, you know, and when, if you ever had a camera or if you purchased a camera, you will see that it's much you don't fish it as aggressively as you would with a Vexilar. With a camera, you have to kind of, you have cables to deal with. You've got, you know, you got to put it down. There's, you have to take your time more with a camera. It's not as fast as it is with a Vexilar. You don't go hole hopping from hole to hole looking for fish with a camera as easily because there's a lot of cables and a lot of maintenance of things. But when you start fishing with a Vexilar, in conjunction with the camera, you'll see where the both complement each other. And that's why you can refine the use of electronics. Exactly, it's a perfect title for what you're talking about today. So, like Tom said, you know, there's a lot of details involved. We touched on the tip of the iceberg, as you know, with these shows. I get a lot of questions, a lot of feedback. Uh, Tom's here to answer questions. You know, if you have questions on any of these systems, you can by all means contact the masterminds here at Vexlar. You know, Vexlar.com, their website is full of tips, techniques, tutorials. FAQs, anything you want to know about how these systems perform, they've all used them, heck, they've built these units. They know how they work in the best conditions, in the worst conditions, whatever it might be. So use these resources. Vexler.com also has a series of forums where you can go in there and ask questions and get tips and techniques from area pros. So use these tools to get a better understanding. You know, hopefully this video touched on what you wanted to know. Again, we didn't dump, jump, or jump into these two concepts. We act more on why these systems perform well together. together. If you have a question about one or the other or all three, by all means, ask myself, ask Tom, contact somebody at Vexlar, you know, send us an email and we'll get your questions answered for you. So Tom, I really appreciate it. This should have answered a lot of questions for those viewers that have asked some of these things. I know I've been asked this specific question several times in an email, but uh, there it is. Electronics refined, the idea, get out there, have fun, the basis of ice fishing is to have a good time. Have a good time. Tools like this, like Tom said, my four-year-old son that comes ice fish with me, really, at this point in his life, this unit to him means nothing. This unit is the best thing he's ever touched. Yeah. So, on behalf of Matt Johnson, Tom Zanenko, thanks for watching Trap Talk, and we'll catch you guys next week.